up pretties we've put together a short and fun tutorial on how to change the color of your fairy wings from our fairyland collection um so let's go ahead and dig in here i have opened our pretty actions fairyland collection and to apply uh, my fairy wings, I'm going to navigate down and click on the fairy wing applicator. And we're going to press play. And we have our handy dandy instructions. I'm going to press continue. And uh, I'm just going to navigate to my fairy wings. So I have mine saved a little bit differently on my computer. So you'll just navigate to where you have your uh, folder. Uh, saved on your computer. So notice that you have your previews here, um, Fairy Wing 1 preview, 2 preview. This is simply showing you what your Fairy Wing is going to look like. You'll want to select the .png file uh, when you actually go to apply the wing. I'm going to click on uh, 8 PNG file. Okay, it appears white, however, once you apply it, you can see that the fairy wing is there. Now, I'm just going to quickly go in and erase the bottom part of this wing that I did do not want to apply. So we can just uh, jump right in and show you how to apply and change uh, the colors of your fairy wing. So I'm just doing a simple resize here. I don't need to do too much with these wings. Let's see, I think that's about right. I might make that just a tiny bit smaller. Okay, that's perfect. I'm going to press enter and my action runs. I have all these wonderful options in changing the colors. I'm just going to zoom through this part real quick where I erase the, the fairy wing. Um, now I can do a little bit on this video. We do have a complete separate video that goes over how to uh, erase parts of your wing. But notice how I'm selecting the layer mask here for my fairy wings. My brush is selected and I'm just going to bring black to the foreground color to erase. And of course the closer you get the more precise um, you can be when removing the wing. Okay, so just erasing a little bit here, guys. And again, I'm just going to zoom through this part and show you how to start changing the colors on your wings. Okay, guys, so I have removed the bottom part of the fairy wing that I did not want showing in this particular image. And we are ready to move on and talk a little bit about colors. Notice all these colors that were built into my action here. All I have to do is click on the little eyeball next to each of the colors, okay? And you'll notice a slight change, okay? Notice how the wings are getting slightly warmer. I'm going to click on the actual adjustment layer. Notice the opacity up here at the top of my layers panel. I can bring that all the way up and make that a little bit richer um, or down just to make it a little bit more faint of a color change. Okay, same thing happens when I click on cool wings. Again, if you want to change the opacity, click on that actual layer, go up to opacity and bring that up. Okay, I can turn it off or I can actually go in and mix um, a few of the colors uh, just depending on what particular look you're going for. So I'm just turning these on and off. Now something really neat that you can do as well I'm going back to the warm wings layer. I'm just turning that eyeball on. If you click on the actual color box here, the adjustment layer, so not the, the name of the adjustment, not the layer mask, but the actual, you might have an adjustment icon here, like a little symbol, or um, you'll have a color box as I have. Um, you can double click on that and just move this around and select literally any color in this color box that you desire. So I can select one of the warm colors that are already here on my screen. Usually clicking on something lighter is going to look nicer for um, this particular effect. Um, but again, depending on the look that you're going for, you can literally select any color that you desire. Um, now you can change 
the the arrows on your color wheel and bring that up and change the color completely and then click within the box to um, select your desired color. Photoshop CS3 through CS6 and CC users, you have your little eyedropper tool. And if you want your wing, say, to match um, something in the image, like her dress maybe, I can select, um, notice how when I leave my color picker box, uh, my arrow is no longer an arrow. It's just automatically this little eyedropper. I didn't do anything to make that appear. Uh, I'm just going to click around her dress here, maybe a darker color. Notice how the darker color makes her wings, um, because I have a darker background, her wings kind of disappear there. So I can click up a little higher here, and now she's got like a really nice light periwinkle wing that goes well with the image. I'm absolutely loving that. So I can just hit OK and be done. Um, now if you want to brighten your fairy wings, that is also super, super simple. We're just going to go down to fairy light brush. Um, click play. Paint with a soft white brush over areas of your image you wish to add fairy light. Also, you can use this action to make your fairy wings appear brighter. How cool is that? Um, okay, so I'm just going to make my brush bigger uh, by using the right bracket key. Smaller is the left bracket key. Um, and the action uh, makes this a brush for me. Okay, so... Um, all I have to do is simply start painting over the wing and it appears brighter. And I can adjust the opacity uh, as desired. Maybe bring that down a little bit. Um, also, when using your brush, if it's not working or looking kind of spotty with this collection, the last brush that you used may have been one of the trailing um fairy dust brushes. So just make sure you go back and select a soft edged brush. Everything else is done for you. Um, and it is that simple, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in and learning how simple it is to add color and even change color to your fairy wings from the Fairyland collection from Pretty Actions.